Hey Scrappy Peeps, Susanna here today to share another process video with you. Helping with my uh, Stash Bash friends, you should have come here from Christine's blog and we are scrapping our wood veneers today and using up that stash. This is the layout I created, it's kind of bold um, and I wanted to be able to use my wood veneers using all those bright colors that are in my layout. I don't really tend to scrap with brown and so naked wood veneers just don't work for me and so while the wood veneers are really cute, they've sort of amassed in my stash. That uh, busy piece of pattern paper from American Crafts, the new Amy Tan collection was sort of the um, it's the inspiration for this layout. It was the centerpiece of where I went. It's the one new piece and everything else is from my stash. I had a piece of coordinations. Actually, no, it wasn't coordinations. It was basil um, dot polka dot blue as the background. And then I literally just reached into my stash and picked out scraps of papers that coordinated with those really bright colors. This is a picture of my son and some of his swim friends. They were on a team travel trip and it's rare for me to get pictures of him. So when another swim mom sent this to me, it was uh, quite a blessing to have that and know that he was alive and thriving. I also had some journal cards that I pulled out from some really old uh, Coco Daisy kits and uh, that one there from Studio Calico as well as a couple from Elle's Studio. I just went for the color theme and I wanted to coordinate them with the colors in that um, busy pattern paper. I had intended to journal on that Studio Calico card from A while ago, I think it's the seven collection, um, but I ended up actually journaling on that Our Great Adventure, and the the row that's centered on that right hand side actually kind of becomes like a flip chart in many ways. So you can see where I tucked it underneath the picture there, and you'll see when I put the adhesive down on my pictures that you don't actually flip it, but you can lift it up, and uh, it reveals the journaling. I used my knockout punches here from American Crafts because if you look closely at the pattern paper, you can see how the holes are in a separate color in the paper, and I wanted to mimic that effect. So I punched the holes and just wanted a little strip for uh, some pink at the bottom, although I played with, uh, I wanted the column to, to remain mostly the same width across. Um, so I kind of had to narrow in some of the, the elements to the page. So once I've figured out where everything's going to go, I get out my adhesive. You can see how I flip that up and put that back so that you can flip the photo up to read the journaling. Um, I haven't actually journaled, to be honest. It will come. Uh, I, uh, there's a part of me that wants Nicholas to do the journaling and there's a part of me that wants to just tell the story of how I got the photo because uh, it was another swim mom who sent that to me. So you can see there how you can flip those elements up and it creates some fun dimension to the page. I will eventually get to these wood veneers, I promise. Uh, I wanted to build the page first and I used my Big Shot to cut some stars out and then the stars are additionally wood veneer stars that I used as just fun complements to the page. Um, you could use the naked wood veneers if you wanted to, but I wanted something that matched the colors that were on my page. I tend to coordinate my pages and so I decided that painting them with gesso was going to be the way to go. So here you can see I've got my big shot out and those dies from Heidi and I just again some scrap pieces of paper. Actually that yellow from Jelly Bean isn't scrap but I have a 20 pack of that so in my mind it's scrap because I've got a ton of it. Um, so I want a third because I like trios of things so I just used that red that complemented it rather than getting a whole nother piece of paper out. 
and once I get these down, you'll see me pull out my wood veneer. I have a ton of wood veneer in all shapes and sizes from simple stories, lawn fawn, uh, freckled fawn, studio calico, you name it, and I've probably got it. So we put the big shot away. And here we go with these stars. I, I knew the stars were what I wanted, so the stuff that I had pulled out to put on my page are collections that have stars in them. Um, there's that big collection when I started to pull things apart. I had to keep my simple stories together because I ha have that all organized by collection, but everything else is organized in that box. So there we are. I've decided I like those stars. I like the placement. Now we whip out the gesso. So it, you can paint directly on the wood veneer. However, um, the the paint is kind the the wood veneer is dry and it likes a base and it's easier to get a less opaque and a more solid color, a less see-through color. If you paint with gesso first, it creates a base for the wood to then show a more solid or less see-through color. So here I am painting with gesso. Um, I have carpet in my scrap room, so I have to be very careful with how I do things. That's my wood base and my messy fingers. Literally all I've got is a sponge brush and I am dipping the gesso. I have to be careful because I didn't pull out my tweezers and I don't want to get gesso on the page. So I've got two forms of color here. I used that blue is just a distress ink and then this is a shimmers paint. Uh, it's actually um, from Tattered Angels and I really like that orange and it looks great there but when it actually dries it looks more like the same wood color. I had thought to get the red out but uh, Honestly, I was being lazy, and so I just used the white because I liked the white much better than I liked um, the wood color. And so I used my fine line pen with my Scotch Tacky Glue to adhere all these down. I really like the way that you can get the fine line, literally. Um, and these things stick and don't move. The little teeny tiny ones I probably should have gotten my tweezers out for, but my hands are messy at this point, so what does it matter? We're gonna move from here to, I put a few embellishments on the page that you are going to miss. It's just some uh, stickers from Bella Boulevard, but my video's corrupt and it wouldn't take it, so I just cut that part out. And I wanted to add to the title, so I have some thickers here, as well as a little element there, just for that pop of yellow down the bottom, because there's a whole lot of pink and green, and I wanted to um, specify where they were. Our Great Adventure at NAG stands for National Age Group. Um, that's the swim meet that they were. So there's some close-ups to follow. I hope I've inspired you to use your wood veneers and add some color to them. Thanks for stopping by. From here, you're going to head over to Rebecca's YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us today.